97.1, the fan. We have a good connection where we communicate a lot. So, you know, we just communicated who was at the slot, number five. You know, he's a good player. So we communicated that out. Now just being able to help him out over top. Is this kind of what you dream of for a start like this? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's been a long time coming. You know, like Chris Meyer, I guess, told y'all. There was a few times where I thought about this wasn't for me, you know, because when you first come in, you're not playing a lot. You, you tend to be able to. To think that it's not for you, you know, and I just, my mom helped me stick it out and everything, and I, it ended up working out. Your, your mom really did. Did you go back to that freshman year? What was, like, your lowest of lows? Uh, it was just, I just started doubting myself, you know, a lot, you know, just thinking this wasn't the place for me because I felt like I didn't fit in. I wasn't playing a lot, just special teams and stuff like that, so I just tended to doubt myself a lot. And your you mom said, your mom, what did your mom you? say to you? Uh, she, she said, her exact words was, I don't know what you're going to do, but you're not coming back home. So, <laughs> Malik, so have, you, have you ever played baseball, center field? I mean, you know, I mean, where does that come from, the tracking the ball? I have played, ability? I played baseball through middle school, but other than that, no, it's probably my basketball. Yeah. I, just being able to hand, co hand eye coordination in basketball and just being an athlete out there. Did the defense need this kind of first game? Because, you know, a lot of new guys running around out there, including yourself and stuff. What, what does this do for you guys as a group? Uh, we had a good game, you know, but we feel like we, we can do we can do a lot better. So just for being able to go out there and run around for the, with the guys for the first time, you know, we're going to get back in the lab tomorrow and fix up what we made mistakes on. Malik, did you know that you were going to uh, beat Yvonne Bell's interception? No, I mean, I wasn't really focusing on that. I just wanted to go out there and do my job and uh, try to be the best I can be for the defense and the team. But in two games, oh, sorry. in Ohio State, you played, you picked off two passes both times. Yes, sir. There's a certain skill level or a, something to just be able to run all the way that Is it just natural for you, or how do you feel like you find yourself around the ball like you have? Honestly, I, I feel like my coaches put me in a lot of positions to be able to make plays and just show off my athletic ability and go out there and run around and ball hawk the ball while it's in the air. This so, is an off season filled with a ton of position battles. Yeah. But for whatever reason, ever since you stepped in, it was never really a question with you. Why do you think that is? Did you feel that? Uh, I never really paid attention to it. it was, I just had the mindset to just go out there and get better every day and be the best Malik I can be for the team and for the defense, like I said. Malik, does the ball just seem to come to you? I mean, you know, every, every, <laughs> we watched in the spring game, you know, you had the, the return. I mean, but we was told in preseason camp you keep mm -hmm. getting picks. Does the, How do you explain it? Uh, it's more being able to, to know the defense a lot more and knowing – what the guys in front of me are capable of doing, you know, and just reacting off what they do. Because a lot of the linebackers, and especially the D-line, you know, without them rushing, you know, the quarterback wouldn't have no pressure, and it would be a lot harder to cover somebody. But without with them out there doing their job and me doing my job, you know, it just makes it a lot easier. Thanks, man. I really didn't even look at it. I didn't get a chance, so I just wanted to celebrate. You know, it's my first time starting and being able to step out on the field as a, as a starting safety at Ohio State. You know, it's a great feeling, especially with the guys out there. You know, I just love going out there and going to work with the defense and knowing that I ain't got nothing to worry about with the good offense we got as well. Oh, no, I ain't got no service here, so I don't know what my phone's looking like right so now. Like no, sir. I haven't seen so the replay. Head, describe to me what you think it might look like. Uh, from, what I'm, from what I was told on the sideline, it was a freakish play. You know, I guess I jumped pretty high. And just being able to be an athlete, you know, batted the ball back and made a great play out there. Your number one source for sports, 97.1, The Fan. Fan.